All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Unfinished Power Slap Career Mode Welterweight Division or something like that. All right, we've got a rematch booked in with George Davy. Let's see if we can get redemption. All right, we're all trained, well, we're all weighted up and whatnot. Let's get straight into the gym. And well, now we can sign up, I think, for the, the pimp and gym. Right. Start off with some power. Now, a bit of defensive sparring is going to have to come into play at some point. Maybe finish off with some defensive sparring. My garden's only going to carry me so far. All right. All in the green. Let's see how we do against George Davy in this rematch. See if the right-hand strategy is going to carry me through. I doubt it. Oh, we didn't put the, the Santiago pen in the contract clause. So here we are at the... Uh, the Den of Inequity, Seven Hills Boxing Club. All right, I went over the rules. I want you to protect yourself at all times, and what I say you must obey. Good luck. I don't think George is going to be... He's going to be... We're going to get him out of there that easy. You know, first named boxer and all that. Crowd reacting to them shots. Let's see if Davy can make the necessary adjustments. Job from George fighting his way out of trouble there. Oh, nice jab from George there. Just interrupted me and a nice right straight. I think George might have figured out the strategy. Showing a chin on him. Let's 
There we go. Finally put him down. Threw him a curveball with the right straight instead of the uh, instead of the right hook. George opened up over the over the right eye. He's doing the right thing, interrupted me like that, but... Oh, and he almost gets knocked down again. He got rocked right at the end there. That guy tweaking in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen there, see him? He's fucking charged up. He's got the uh, he's got the special needs front row seats. George back up a little bit. Too many fucking overhands to deal with. Or right hook, should I say. Oh, that looks like a maybe an elbow got through there. It all it's all anything goes at the fucking Seven Hills Boxing Club. Oh, and George on the canvas for the second time in the fight. Completely different fight indeed. Oh, and George getting clipped with another right hook. <laughs> trying to use footwork there. A foolish mistake from George. You know, trying to use real-world boxing strategies to evade a punch, and it bit him in the ass. Oh, looked like a bit of a headbutt there as well. Good job, George. He's he's up. Davey putting some work in on my block there. And again, George making the mistake of trying to use head movements. Oh, when he takes a knee. Smart move from George.
Oh, bit of a trade there. Oh, and Davy buckling under the pressure. Another right straight. He thought it was going to be a right off, but Rug was pulled from underneath him at the last minute, and it was a right straight. That's the unpredictability of boxing. You don't know if it's going to be a right hook or a right straight. Oh, Davey up on nine, denying me that not the, the KO there. He's tough. I mean, that begs the question. Does this set up a, a trilogy fight for me and Davey? Look at the head movements from George. He's learning. Oh, that's the end of the fight. Well, he, we couldn't stop him. First decision we've been to in a whole video. Fucking Davy's tattoo looks like a middle finger there. Thought it was being flipped off there. God, there's some mouth breather looking people in that fucking audience. Look at them all. They've all got pointy elbows and shit. Well, revenge against Davy in the bag. Coach giving us a C there. Oh, we got some rewards. Jabs and hooks going up, health going up, health, regen, courage, more health, regen. Oh, yes, yeah, so we need to hire the team again. Right, I'll fire this bitch once she's. Uh, we've unlocked, because I think she's got a trade card that I wouldn't mind sort of taking advantage of. Bomber increases the damage of power punch straight thrown to the head by 25%. What's the passive? Increases flash knockdown chance on power punches thrown by 50%. So as soon as we've unlocked that from here, she's fired. I'll rehire you for now. I reckon I can get away, maybe another fight, renewing this guy's contract, and then I'll start upgrading this fella, and uh, Schmeagel over here. Do we uh, have any upgrade points? We did. Might be a waste of time trying to upgrade here if we're going to fire her soon, but... get offered. Harry Khan still chirping up. Barrera, I think they're old news now, aren't they? Let's start looking to greener pastures, I think. Who's top of the of our little section here? Joe Young. Looks anything but Scottish. Jason Smith. Another homeless man trying to Box his way from the box cars. It's a fucking box car, Bob. Frank Evans. Oh, we, that's right. It was another mustache wielding. Uh, did we lose to this fella? I can't remember. Jalen Khan, the American. I'll tell you what, let's go against Frank just because it's another mustache. Whether we fought him or not, that's irrelevant. There's a mustache on the line. Can we famoose you for a 70% cut again? Can't be box coming up, so we're getting some decent venues coming up. He's happy with that. Everyone's happy. All right, let's take another look at Frank's... Uh, sorry, Frank, I just glossed over your fucking... your rap sheet there. 
the Bobcat, Frank Evans. 17 wins, 7 knockouts, 24 losses. Outside fighter, he's from Swansea. Tends to go for the body, oh that's right, this might be a mistake. Get in the camp. Power punching, of course, is the new strategy. Speed. Defensive sparring. the fight then with Frank Evans, I'm pretty sure this is a rematch, I can't remember if he won the first time or I did, probably he did and unfortunately for the rest of us we've had peace and quiet and the sound of deafening silence but now your ears have got to face the fucking full wrath of fucking Todd Grisham and Johnny Nelson so I apologise and you can see who has the power There's only so long you can escape it. Here's the corpse of Jimmy Lennon Jr. For your introductions. This bout is scheduled for six rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from the United Kingdom. Wearing the blue trunks with blue trim. The Barbarian. Hiding out of the blue corner from Wales. Wearing the purple trunks trimmed with pink. The Bobcat. So they actually managed to pony, bone up and pay Jimmy Lennon Jr. extra cash to, build to say the uh, the fighter's what nicknames now. What that we wasn't the case in the early access. Alright, it's on. Frank Evans. Lucky that hook didn't score. Insane action. Oh, Todd's loving the action. This fighter does everything behind the jab. Your opponent has got to watch out for that. I see well that stagger goes on there as well. Oh, he's already hurting me. You can get like another another power shot in. Nice slip to avoid the jab. You can see from the record, this fighter is fantastic and is really difficult to get past. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline. Slap fucking the respect both bitch slap fucking each punch. Other because no one dare do anything out of turn. I mean, this guy's chin. He's just taking these punches. I'm coming off worse. Look at my cut, I'm already cut. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking gas myself out. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Oh, I think he countered me with a jab there. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. Have oh no, my strategy might be uh, showing signs of cracks. And there's the bell to start the round. It's an ineffective That's against an iron chin. How does he keep the momentum going? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. I agree, Johnny, if it's not broken, why change it, mate? Keep doing what you've just been doing, because you've won that hands down. Keep do. I mean, you heard it. You heard it from Johnny himself. 
If it's not broken, why change it? Keep doing what you're doing. Just misses. Nope, that hook won't score. These two are the perfect dance partners. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? Is this fella playing with cheats on? <laughs> What's going on? Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Neither fighter willing to slow down. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Well, this pressure might be starting to get to him. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Trying to bang the body. Yeah, he's having, having some success. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. They ring the bell and here we go. He hasn't even been rocked yet. Can he keep the momentum going after that last huge round for him? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Oh, when I shot at the body there. You'd like to see more jabs. what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round no rest for the weary skill for skill tap for tap just like a match made in heaven oh there he goes he's figured it out now He's figured it out. Quite connect. He's got to let that body recover. Just as quickly as it slows down, it heats back up. Very close so the strategy is ineffective with a fucking iron chin. Almost a 10 8 round, complete dominance. And there's the bell to start the round. This fight has been very one sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. No, oh, couldn't capitalize on that stagger there. fight has a real good flow to it. Both men step back for just a moment. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Uh, 
I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. You don't want to trade shots. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I got to respect both of them more than happy. Just with that jab. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punch is better. So if I, if I put the jab before the right hook, Todd, that's a little bit better. They better start respecting each other. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Oh, that left eye opened up now. <clears throat> For Evans. I promise you, Excuse all three me. judges here are going to give that round to you know who. They ring the bell, and here we go. After a really strong round, to see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. <laughs> Left-handed jab doesn't quite score. When are we going to see a jab from these two? And he just missed with that left jab. This has been a very competitive round between these two. That left-handed jab doesn't quite score. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Easy jab in this fight, you're gonna get knocked out. This is one of the best rounds I've seen. This, you know, the scorecards are gonna be all over the place in this one. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. I know we're not going to get get a knockdown here or a KO, but doesn't matter. It's still ahead on the scorecards. The way the connect percentages have to be off the charts. Oh, that hook doesn't score. Oh, nice shot of the liver there. Point and both of these fighters know the round is still up for grabs. Can't score with that jab. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. Try and saw them. Try it. here from both men
and just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Some might have thought it was a little oh, well, didn't rock him. That was enough to whitewash the fight. Look at that, no fucking sweat. Right hands all day. Look at that, 50, 57% accuracy. 78% accuracy on straight. Beautiful. Because obviously we need more power. These chins are going to be getting stronger eventually, so... Going to need fucking stamina as well. Swell and resistance, block health. Left hand power, not going to be needing that much. Three plus power punching now, that will come in handy. Let's get one more fight in and I think we'll call it a video. Plenty on weight, I think. George Davy coming up again. A few familiar faces. I was looking at Khan. That's who I wanted to fight. 75 rating, like. Jason Smith. Yeah, let's go against Khan. St. Andrews, that's all right with me. Media activities, don't think so. Oh, let's pull up his rap sheet. Jalen Khan, machine. 20 wins, six, uh, come up, six of them come up by way of knockouts, 18 losses, two draws. Lowell, Massachusetts is there. Boxer puncher, 75 overall for Khan. Fighting two Khans, Harry Khan, and now this fella. Let's need more power. Need more power. Two power sessions back to back. Looking good. All right, here we go for Jalen Khan. Let's get to the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, it is go time. My name is Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The f Shut up, Johnny. This Here's the corpse of Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the introductions. In the red corner from the United Kingdom, wearing the blue trunks with blue trim, the Barbarian. Hiding out of the blue corner from the United States of America, wearing the red trunks with red trim, the Machine. Expectations are sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. Todd, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here at this venue. It's going to be something special. So a capacity crowd here for this one. We've been waiting a long time for this matchup. And here we go. Fucking Khan giving me a thorough good eyeball in there. They ring the bell and here we go. <laughs> nice. 
Nice counter. Just missed with that hook. The perfect counter lands. Those counter punches have to hurt. A big whiff with the right hook. Oh, couldn't follow up. Behind the jab, their opponent has got to watch out for that. That counter punch caught him clean. Punch, counter punch. Oh, nice, nice roll down. underneath there. Firing off the one two from Khan. thought this would be a mismatch you are sorely wrong this is a high octane battle oh a nice sure uppercut sure from Khan that left a mark the respect both fighters I'll be letting him get too many of them no one dare do anything out of turn. oh with the jig might be up with the power punch strategy both men step back for just a moment <laughs> One punch could change everything in this battle. And we may oh. see a stoppage here. And it appears they're out of trouble, at least for now. But that just goes, despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Oh, we got hit badly there. Match get turned around. Dominance without a doubt made it look so so easy. His power's not to be trifled with. The admin Amber health pretty easily there. Well, Johnny, can he keep the momentum going after that last huge round? Hard. My motto is: if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. This fighter has a very good win loss record and will be tough to beat. Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. Nice counter punch right up the middle. Machine goes down. Oh, Harry Khan getting flashed. He was coming in aggressive. Dashing right straight and a right uppercut, trying to zip round and input read me. Khan trying to use real world boxing strategies to get the job done. <laughs> what are you thinking, Khan? It's undisputed, mate. Doesn't work that way. Need to turn this around halfway through. They're on their feet, but is this the beginning of the end? What well, now is about getting back to the corner, freshen up, get new instructions given to you, and they've got to G you up. They're trying to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. Hard, he's off. Uh, I'll be surprised if he makes it back to the corner. And if he does, will he get back up on the stool again? That was a shot. Insane action. The straight right just misses. Not the best of rounds with 10 seconds to go. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. Gotta be mindful of that swelling <coughs> on my left side. To start the round. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to do it. This is 
some of the best action I've seen in any round anywhere this year. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. Neither one of them want this to go to the judges' scorecards. Trying to land that jab. You gotta like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. That right hook won't score. Nice counter punch right up the middle. Trying to land that jab. So much for boxing. This is a fight. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. The corner's got to take a good look at their fighter. Well, there was no doubt about Another it. hairy moment at the end for Khan. Getting rocked again. I mean, he's still dangerous. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. How about that time counter shot? That hook doesn't score. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. Not a lot of defense here at all. Tough to be a judge in this fight is both so much for defensive abilities. Good job trying to back out of trouble. What recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely gone. I thought there's no way he's going to finish this round. But look at that. Look at the movement. Look at the speed. Back I tried to it. elbow him there. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Ooh, that still up for Raz with just 10 seconds to go. Stumbling oh. <laughs> potholes in serious trouble. Talk about it. Let go of the block button there to throw a power punch, and he just snuck one in. And there's the bell to start the round. This fight has been very one sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Can't find a home with that jab. You'd like to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. <laughs> Swing and a miss with that hook. Some real good back and forth between these two fighters. <laughs> Come on. That 
that hook was off target. That jab doesn't score. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. Miss with that jab. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Harry definitely uh, Harry fucking hell I don't think his name was Harry Can't oh that was the other guy's name Jalen onto this strategy now he's well aware of what I'm trying to do the bell and here we go so the fight will continue how do they turn things around they've had one minute to recover now they've got to bluff it they've got to bluff it they've got to come out now and style it out get on the back foot jab rest on the jab be smart and pop until your legs come back then put the pressure on that counter shot lands. That left hook misses. Just when you think they're going to have a low in the action, we get it heated back up. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. This fight will say, you know what? I'm just that much above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Big swing and a miss with the hook. That jab won't score. You'd like to see more jabs. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. That's a lot of swelling. Oh, the check in my cut. Oh, the swelling, should I say. It okay? looks like someone set fire to me fucking face. Stop it and the fight continues. Some might have thought the well, there's another victory. Looking like a bit of a mess. So obviously this strategy is probably only going to carry you so far. Once they can take the shots from you. You know, it gets harder to knock them down. He actually come back in the last couple of rounds, did it? But it wasn't enough. The power of the right hand spam is just too much. Block regen, movement speed, stem regen, right hand power, and health recovery. Oh, we're talking injury. You've sustained a minor injury, hand health. I'm not surprised the amount of fucking right hands. In oh, injury sustained, concussion. I thought I said hand health. Uh, 1600 to sort that out. Recovery failed. Why is that? Have I not got enough money? Can I attempt to recover again this week? No, oh, well, fuck you then. All right, let's uh, get the neck. Oh, I can't do anything, can I? Fucking hell. Uh, let's renew this, because we've got a bit, a bit more of a relationship to build up before we unlock that trade card. Still, I don't think I've got enough yet for Pyron. Oh no, these lads are good. I 
I can upgrade there though, can't I? I haven't I got points to to use? Oh, look at that! She goes to it. She's gonna get sold. Uh, sacked, should I say? Sold? What is she asleep? Look at now. She's gonna get sacked before we know it and upgraded to a different coach. fight booked and we'll wrap up the video and you know what I mean as you've noticed the gameplay's took a bit of a dive hasn't it like in the quality you know me just throwing power punches and all that you know I like to make the gameplay look as 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 nice as possible but the game doesn't work that way boys and girls if you want it to change get onto the steel city devs and tell them to sort the fucking ai out but uh, i'm just playing the game out ash wants me to play the game god we've turned into a fat fuck while we've been sitting out waiting for this injury to sort out training right one more that'll do Elroy Scott there he was a problem for us early on wasn't he I think it'd be a trilogy fight if me and Elroy were to meet up again George Mitchell How come some flags have got like the Union Jack, like George there has got the the Union Jack and obviously he deserves to get the shit beaten out of him because he's got bright pink hair. This guy looks like a fucking modern day SJW so he's definitely getting fucking smashed next. Saying that, I shouldn't say that, he's fucking 78 stats compared to fucking R73. Uh, but then you look at Jason Smith there and he's got the St George's flag, what's going on? Right, so let's pencil this fucking prick in. You know when I see people in real life walking around with hair like this? You know, it's either this colour or, like, that teal blue or green or fucking bright colours. Like, what does nature tell you about brightly coloured animals? Stay the fuck away from them because they're normally fucking highly poisonous in some fashion. And I think that translates over to real world fucking situations as well. People who've got dyed hair like that are normally a red flag of fucking insanity to me. Oh, he's counted it. This SJW wants a 50% pit. Oh, no. What does he... Oh, he wants a different venue. Fine, you can have fucking compy box and you can have the home. There, there we go. Cancel culture. You know, if you don't bow to it, it fucking... It'll change everything. All right. We're all ready to go for the next one. Let's have a look at his rap sheet, by the way. George Mitchell, George Mitchell, Rockstar, SJW, 29 wins, 7 of them come on by way, way of knockouts, 22 losses, 4 draws, he's from Nottingham, best years are behind them, oh, that's not the most, uh, <laughs> that's not the most fucking, you know, confidence of descriptions there, but uh, it is what it is, look at the state of him. All right, I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.